Okay, uh, I want to talk a couple of minutes about steels uh, and whether or not it's okay to reuse steel plates. Uh, some builders will replace all the steel plates regardless, um, but most of us will reuse steels if they're in good shape. So here's kind of how um, I'll inspect and assess a, a steel plate based on what it looks like and whether or not I'll reuse it. So this is out of a uh, 2004L60E. Um, in most cases, all the steel plates inside those units, when they come in for overhaul, unless they're, you know, were severely grenaded or, or abused or, or completely tore up, most of the steel plates are actually usable, but there's exceptions. So we're looking at these forwards, and for the forward clutch pack, uh, it's usually okay to reuse the steels. However, if you look at these, these are pretty worn out. Um, you can see wear patterns here. Um, some of the plates are scored, uh, you know, in addition to that, some of them are actually warped a little bit. Um, it's probably not going to be obvious on camera, but, you know, if you had them in your hands, uh, it would be, you know, you'd be ready, readily be able to tell that the steels are not flat. Uh, if you're not sure and you have a perfectly flat surface, like a butcher block or even a glass tabletop, you just lay the steel right on top of it. And, you know, you can kind of see um, if there's parts of the steel that are not making contact with the surface. This surface is not, not perfectly flat, but irrespective of that, when the steels look like this, I do not reuse them. Uh, this is the wave plate. Uh, pretty straightforward deal with this thing. It's supposed to be wavy. All you're really looking for is any signs of bluing. If, if it's real blue and you know the transmission overheated, then just out of an abundance of caution, I'd advise you to replace this uh, wave plate. This one's perfectly okay to reuse. And then here's a pressure plate. So what you're looking for here is just simply scoring, bluing, any signs of heat damage. And you also want to check to make sure it's also perfectly flat and not warped. This one's fine. Same deal with the overrun. You're looking for the exact same things. So um, nice smooth surface, no heat damage, no scoring, no signs that it's uh, structural integrity has been compromised. It's fine to reuse. Here's uh, the overrun um, steel plates that go along with that uh, pressure plate. And as you can see, we have a little bit of scoring here. But when we flip over on uh, to the other side of this plate, we could see that uh, there is a, a big scoring line right here going right from this side to this side. And, and it's, you know, you can clearly see that it's, you know, it's not just superficial. I mean, my nail's getting caught up in it really, really uh, readily, or really easy, rather. And um, when you have scoring like this, you do not want to reuse them. Just put um, new ones in. As far as the 3-4 pressure plate and backing plate, uh, you could reuse these provided a couple of things with a couple of caveats. One, uh, they pass inspection visually. They're not burnt. They're not warped. Um, the surfaces don't show any kind of real heavy slippage signs, things like that. And then the other caveat that I always say is the, the application has to be um, either a daily driver or more of a mild build. If it's anything real high performance, then I would recommend replacing them and maybe even going with a high performance set of, uh, you know, pressure and backing plates. Uh, if you buy uh, something like the Revesta Z-Pack, uh, it'll come with its own um, set of plates. So, last one we'll take a look at is the uh, reverse input drum. And again, it's pretty rare that you'll have a problem here. But uh, same thing, you want to make sure that the surface is smooth. There's no uh, burns you know, or, or signs of heat damage. And then for the, the conical cushion plate, you, you just want to make sure that um, it still has its cushion. It still has its, you know, you know it's, it's, it's a bevel. And like the others, it's not all burnt up looking.